Lorenzo Valla, De Libero Arbitrio, Episode 9. Itaque eo insolenti ai procesistis, ut putetis nemenem apossa theologum, e watere nisi qui precepta, philosophiae teneat, eaque diligentissime perdedigerit, stulti usque simul eo facetis, quod ante hac vel nesci erunt, haec vel nesci revolu erunt, o tempora, o mors. Valla continues his rebuke of philosophy, and he begins with this, Itaque, and so, you have advanced, procasistis. This is the second plural, perfect indicative active of procato procatere, the third conjugation verb. You have advanced to, to such a point, eo, adverbial, to such a point of arrogance, insolentii, feminine, singular, and a genitive, and here comes the result, ut, that as a result, ut potatus. Notice how the ut takes the subjunctive putatus when it's a result clause. Of course, it also takes a subjunctive in a purpose clause, but because of itaque and eo and so forth, we can conclude correctly that this is a result clause. And so you have advanced to such a degree of arrogance that you think nobody, name in them, here's our masculine singular accusative subject of the Aratio obliqua, that nobody can posse, here's the verb, can teologum ewadere. This verb ewadere means to come to be or to turn out or simply to become. This is one of its many meanings, and becoming familiar with this is very helpful, especially when reading prose of this sort. That nobody can become a theologian, teologum, here's the masculine singular and accusative in order to be the predicate of nemonym, that nobody can become a theologian, nisi qui, except the one who, this is the relative clause, nisi, except he who, now what is the verb with qui? Well, there are a couple of them. First of all, teneat, except the one who holds on to the precepta philosophiae. Teneat is the verb, it's third singular, subjunctive, from the second conjugation, teneo tenera. Its object is precepta, in the neuter plural accusative, the singular being praeceptum, except the one who holds to the precepts of philosophy, philosophiae in the feminine singular genitive, and, there's the que, and has learned them, per dedicarit, this is from per disco, to learn thoroughly, it's the third conjugation, per disco, per discare, and who has learned them, ea, with reference to praecepta, diligentissime, this is a superlative adverb, with the greatest degree of care. He then continues with stulti usque, and, here's the que, at the same time, simul, you act stultius, you behave more foolishly. Here's a comparative adverb, comparative adverb, you act more foolishly, eo, for this reason, namely because, eo quod, these are correlatives, namely because, well, well, you see this, these disjuncts here, well and well, namely because before this time, ante hoc, either you have not known them, hike, and again, hike refers to the praecepta philosophiae, and nescie runt, like so, another ligature, nescie runt with the n. This is the third plural of the fourth conjugation verb, nescire, not to know. Either you have not known them previously, or Here's the other possibility, which the disjunct well introduces. Or, well, you have wanted, walu erunt, not to know them, neskire. That is, you have cultivated a deliberate ignorance of the praecepta philosophiae, which you at the same time claim are essential for anyone to become a theologian. Nobody can become a theologian unless he studies them. He concludes, then, Valla does, this sentence with, O tempora, O mors. Now, tempora here, like so, is a vocative, a neuter plural vocative. Morse here, I was expecting, as I'm sure all of you were, mores, and perhaps that's what this really is, an alternate spelling of mores. Morse by itself means death, but it can't be that. It has to be mores in the masculine plural vocative. Now, I'm not a Vala scholar. Perhaps someone who's watching is. I wasn't able to track down an alternative for this Nevertheless, I assume it's mores. And this is from, this is from Cicero, 
namely from his first speech against Catiline, O tempora, O mores, in Catilinam, the first one. What times we live in, look at how people behave. 